And good afternoon. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. Today's date is, or no, today's date is th Thursday, September 1st. Chart of Missouri football. That's what we'll start with. That game kicks off on the SEC Network. Some things, some people think Drinkwitz will go, needs to go seven and five. Many people have the Missouri going six and six. Why not? They're Missouri. Sam Horn and Brady Cook will be the two quarterbacks. Brady Cooks looks to be maybe the starter. One thing Drinkwitz has never been able to find is a quarterback. He was hoping to find one Horn, who was a four-star recruit, and became a redshirt. Also, kick is at seven, South Dakota State, so don't worry about it, Missouri. Another good matchup will be Utah. Missouri has two of the best players from the state in the last two seasons. Luther Biden. Luther Biden from Missouri. And also William Narzer. Another key game, Florida versus Utah. Utah is number 14. Florida is unranked. That game kicks off at 7. Speaking of the Netflix, speaking of the Florida Gators, a Netflix show called Untold Story Swamp Kings. For the Pittsburgh Steelers, we're going to go over their schedule. Week 1, 49ers Steelers. We're going to go through Kenny Pickett, toughest division in football, one of the toughest divisions in football. Kenny Pickett for the starting quarterback for the Steelers. Pat Fitz, furthermore, for the further mouth, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, tight end George Kittle, the top two tight ends, probably been my mind behind Travis Kelsey. The quarterback match will be Kenny Pickett versus Brock Purdy, both rookies last season. The Browns in week two will be, will be at one time a very good Deshaun Watson and Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett hopes to reach Watson's level one time. Walt Tyler for the Cleveland Browns and Joel Bursett, offensive guard for the Steelers. Week 5, Lamar Jackson and Kenny Pickett, rookies, and Mark Andrews, and one of the best in the league, and Pat Formont, tight end for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Week 6, bye. Week 8, Kenny Pickett and Trevor Lawrence and, and Andrew Crisco and free safety, Monte Fitzpatrick. Week 9, defensive end Cam Hayward and defensive end Jeffrey Simmons. Week 10, it will be first-year starter Jordan Love and second-year starter Kenny Pickett, T.J. Watt for the Steelers, and defensive line Devontae Watt. Week 11, referred to week 2. Week 12, we're Joe Burrow and Kenny Pickett, wide receiver De Devontae Johnson and Jamar Chase. Patriots. Matt Jones versus Kenny Pickett for the matchup for Edge, Muthi Judon, and TJ Watt. Week 16 refer to week 12 for the Bengals. Week 17, Geno Smith versus Kenny Pickett for the quarterbacks. And DK Metcalf for the Seahawks and for the Dante Johnson. And DJ Metcalf, what was mentioned. Week 18, Ravens referred to week 5. Now let's review the schedule again. Week 1, San Francisco 49ers kick us at 1 on Sunday, September 10th. Week 2, September 18th, Cleveland Browns, 8-15 on a Monday night. Week 3, Sunday at Las Vegas Raiders, Sunday night. Week 4, at Houston Texans, 1 o'clock. Week 5, October 8th, 1 p.m. Week 6, by week 7, at Los Angeles Rams, 4.05. Week 8, Jacksonville Jaguars, 1 o'clock. Week 9, 8.15, 11, November 2nd, Tennessee Titans. Week 10, November 12th, one o'clock, 
Green Bay Packers, Week 11, Ed Green, Cleveland Browns, 1 o'clock. Week 12, Sunday, at Bengals, 1 o'clock. Week 13, Sunday, December 3rd, Arizona Cardinals. Week 14, December 7th, New England Patriots. 15, Indianapolis Colts at Indianapolis to be announced. Week 16, Cincinnati Bengals, 4.30 Saturday. Week 17, Sunday, December 31st, at Seahawks, 4.05. Week 18, TBD at Baltimore Ravens. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, hey, my name's Zach. Well, Billy, Zach. Ha, huh, huh. ha, how would you like to take a break from detention and learn how to make a schedule release video? I wouldn't. Ha. Huh. Okay, get bent, Bobby. We're doing this. But first, a little history lesson. For nearly a hundred years, the National Football League schedule came out with little fanfare. There was no hubbub, hijinks, malarkey, tomfoolery, or shenanigans. So what's changed? What's changed? Ha <laughs> ha! Content. Golly gee, mister, I had no idea the schedule release video was even a thing. Oh, it is, Ralphie. And it all began in a bakery in the Pacific Northwest, creating opponent-themed cupcakes. I like cupcakes. I'm sure you do, Randy. Let's first learn three simple rules of schedule release videos. One, be creative. Two, be original. Three, don't be unoriginal. Now, let's get started. Tell me a couple of nifty ideas. Well, I guess my first thought would be to just type out the schedule and hand it to the coach. Wrong, Ricky. That's lame-o. And it's been done before. What about if the content team is just sitting around trying to brainstorm ideas for the release video, and that's the whole thing? Guys, how about we grill the schedule? No one wants to know how the sausage is made, Billy. What about a TV show-themed schedule release video, like Game of Thrones? Well, leave it to Beaver, Billy. You can rest assured if it's popular, at least three teams will do it in the same year. What if we let the computers and robots come up with a schedule release video? Robots scare me, Tommy, but I imagine you're on to something. Many teams will let AI write their scripts this year. I got it. What about a pop star with a lot of face tattoos playing beer pong with the owner? Now you're cooking with gas, Bobby. What else you got, you little whippersnapper? How about Japanese animation? That seems to be oddly popular. Ah oh, yes, anime, the crown jewel of last year's schedule release videos. Creative, original, and not unoriginal. Gee willikers, mister. Now I think I got it. Yes, Billy, I think you're ready for your first schedule release video. But before I go, let me leave you with the five S's of very successful schedule release videos. Schedule, storyline, splash, surprise, and uh, schedule. I still think we should let the robots write the script. How do you know they didn't, Zach? How do you know they didn't? Now wave to the camera. Players you want to keep or trade? I kind of like the guys we have now. But um, there was actually there was news a little while ago that I guess uh, Bader and a um, uh, uh, couple other guys may have gotten put on... Um, not waivers, but um, the the one where they're still able to stick around for a little bit, I guess. So, Judge had an outstanding year last year. Has he been yeah. hurt a lot of the year? Yeah, he, he got the home run title now. Has he been yeah. hurt this year? Yeah, the, he actually he got hurt the, at Dodger Stadium the, the, on a play in the outfield the running into the wall. The so it was something with his big toe, but uh, he he was able to come back from it. I think he missed like the uh, fifty games or something like that. And Steinbrenner doesn't run the ship, the new one, like um, George did as a hobby. Yeah. Um, but you think overall you're pretty confident where they are? Yeah. The and um like uh. I will say, like, uh, I'm not like the, some of the other fans. Like, uh, I try, I I try to stay positive. But, 
throughout the whole situation. So, but I, I know they're going to bounce back. <laughs>